What a ride, my friends! <laughs> what a ride! Okay, let's see if my buttons are going to work. They're working now. <laughs> All right. Sorry for the technical difficulty and the delay. Are you guys ready? Oh, shoo. Um, my computer froze and I couldn't get my streaming software to be working. So welcome, welcome to Tidy Up Tuesday. I'm so glad to have you guys back here with me. And today, today, we are going to talk about see if I can get it up. Stamp and I organization. Yay! All right. You guys are ready. I love it. Thanks for saying hello. Sabine's here. Sabine, it has been a long time, sweet friend. Thank you for saying hello. Linda's here. Bobby, Sandy. Yes, Sandy, you are ready. Like, okay, she's going to be here. <laughs> Deb's here. Monica's here. Thanks, you guys. Susan's here too. All right. Are you guys ready? Because Look at, I got my carts. I got both my carts. I got my scrapping cart right here because I'm just all about carts. And, I, and today I'm going to share, share with you my other favorite cart. And I got a bunch of stuff right here in front of me that I want to share with you about organization. So, and Kelly says she loves last week's, um, yeah, I know, Sometimes you gotta watch these on the replay, right, you guys? And I totally get that. Ah, uh, let's see, we've got some shenanigans happening. So hang on a second. Um, let me let me do something really quick. Is um is anybody available that can help me moderate? Because I am seeing some shenanigans that we can't have. How is this? Um, Sandy, can I make you moderator? And I think what you can do is, um, okay, how come, there we go, add moderator. And if you could take away some of that, you know, like shenanigans, um, like the, where did it go? I just saw it. Um, okay. I thought I saw shenanigans. Oh, maybe it is on Facebook. I think it's on Facebook. <laughs> That's a bummer. Okay, I'm gonna have to go play with that later. Um, yeah, it looks like it's coming in from Facebook. Ah, I don't know how I can get rid of those. If anybody's on Facebook, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of that. Shenanigans, folks. I'm, I'm just. It's all about shenanigans, and I don't like it. I like this to be a fun, safe place for everyone. So let me see if I can just pop in here really quick and get rid of that. Um, so we should be live. Stamp and die organization. Here we go. Um, yeah, okay. We are gonna ban this user. Can I do that? Report, there we go. Spam. Submit. All right, let's see if um block. I'm going to block them and see if we can do that. Sorry, guys, I have to do a little housekeeping. Got to get the broom and sweep it out of here. So I don't even know. Don't click on anything that doesn't look safe. Okay, I know. I'm blocked. I blocked them. I blocked them. So I'm hoping, Candace, that's going to help. Um, I'm going to have to figure out how to make a moderator on Facebook. Maybe you guys. <laughs> yeah. Don't click on anything that says watch live and all that craziness. Do not click. Okay. And gosh, I don't even know what happened there. So um, I, somebody just found my, my Facebook page and started all of that. Okay. Let's get down to fun stuff because that's so not fun. And I've got to get into some fun. But I see there's another one I didn't block. Okay. Ah. Oh, ah. Oh, is that on Facebook? That's on Facebook. So now something's really weird with my Facebook. There we go. Okay. You guys. I'm sorry I have to put you through this. But. Um, you know what? Okay. This one. I got to block them too. Report. 
spam, block, block. Okay. There we go. All right. I think, all right. I think hopefully, <laughs> yes, Facebook. It's from Facebook. I know. <sighs> let's see if we can, let's see if we can help it out and get rid of it. So I think that might, that might have done it. Um, might have done it. Okay. Let's hope. I'm, I'm, again, sorry. All right, you guys. Um, thanks for joining me. Again, I'm Lauren here at Craft Some Joy, and I'm really excited about today because um, I love to scrapbook, but I also love adding in other things into my craft world, which for me, stamps and dies is one of those things. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about kind of my journey and how I have reorganized my stamps and I'm and I'm really really loving this new system because it I feel like it gives me the most out of a very tiny amount of space which is important right when you when you don't have a lot of space you want to go what's the best way I can use my space and then you know what happens is we have all these different types of stamps so we have itty bitty stamps, we have kind of medium sized stamps, we have giant stamps, right? So how do you get a handle? How do you get your head around all these different size stamps and, and, and find a system that works for that? So I'm going to share with you today kind of what I've done. And again, I'm going to share my cart. So um, one thing I want to do first is... Um, just kind of share really quick. Here is where you can find me. And look, now I'm, before it was like I was too tall. Now, <laughs> here we go. There we go. Um, if you if you want to find me other places, I'm usually all over the web because that's kind of where I do all my stuff. So you can shop with me at Creative Memories. I'm on Facebook. It, some of you found me on Facebook. I'm also on YouTube. Some of you found me on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram. And that one right there, right there, this one, this is my Amazon shop. And I just want to remind you that that is um, something that you can uh, go to because I get a lot of requests. I'm gonna share this with you really quick here of like, Lauren, how, where's that? I wanna find that, where's that? Can you please tell me where that is? <laughs> So here it is. This is my Amazon. It's not that I sell on Amazon. Okay. Whoops. What it is, is, oh, shoot. Hold on. Um, okay. Here. This is, this is my page. This is what it looks like when you land on it. And right now I have three lists going. Okay. I have my favorite punches, printing and cutting at home, and then craft room organization probably one of the reasons you're here. So when you click on this, like some of these products I'm going to talk about today. So you can always just pop on over here and go, oh, okay, that's, that's the one that Lauren has because there's a lot of different ones out there. So like today I'm going to talk about um, these comic book dividers, what I do with them, dry erase cards, what I do with them, vinyl envelopes, what I do with them. Okay, so just know that you can, um, you can, whoops, sorry guys, I didn't mean to, you can just click on something and it'll take you there. Okay, um, so let me come back. Yeah, and it's very sensitive, my computer is right now. Okay, let me share right now.
Okay, so I'm just going to give you kind of an overview picture of my stamp cart. So I get, like I said, again, it's this extra long one and I can roll it right up to my, oh, lost my sound. Thank you. Am I back to sound? <laughs> okay. Um, I think I'm back now. Uh, thanks, Debbie. <laughs> uh, should I go back? Okay. Do I need to go back over the cart? The cart, I'll just, I'll briefly say what I said in the video. So what happens in the cart is, um, I think where organization happens, thank you, it's bad. Um, when organization happens, um, it's when you can find the right containers, the right things to hold what you need to organize. And that to me is always a challenge. What I really like to, um, to find are the organizers that, um, that work the best. Okay, I'm hoping that I got rid of all of those dangerous websites, Susan. Yeah, don't click on, oh my goodness, yeah. Okay, so I'm hoping all of those shenanigan posts are out of there. That still worries me. Sorry, you guys, it just worries me. All right, so... Um, Oh, thank you. I was I was stuck on my chat. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I just hear a sound of of my video, which is probably like nothing. Yeah. Sorry, you guys. Okay. Technical difficulties today. All kinds from all angles. How about that? Um, okay. Let me go over. So the top of my stamp cart has bigger bins, and those I'm going to go through this all with you. Those, I finally figured out the perfect bins for the top of my cart. The middle are the same bins that you've seen me store my dies in. And look at that, you guys, on the top, three of the bigger bins fit perfectly. On the middle, four of those smaller bins fit perfectly. It, like makes my day, right? When, when all of this, like just the math works out, right? <laughs> And I want to say the name of the cart is the Hudson, Hud, Hudson, um, let me, I, from Michaels. Okay, so yeah, it is the longer one, whereas my little scrapping cart is the shorter one. So this is the, the longer, um, let me just make sure. Okay, and, and here's the thing, you guys, I, um, what I think is important when you're organizing is look around. Like, don't just think one. Yeah, it's the Hudson, H-U-D-S-O-N. Um, and it would hold heavy punches. I've had heavy punches in here too, Candice, yeah. Uh, don't just look for one organizer in one place because I found like one source doesn't always have all the right things. So the cart is from Michaels. The bins are from Amazon, the top bins. The middle bins are from Target, right? And so um, you, you've you got to find the things that help you organize. And sometimes you have to just keep looking around. But I've done a lot of that for you. So I'm going to share a little bit more about um, what you can do. And, and you might have like, it really depends on your stash, right? Oh my gosh, the streaming is not good today. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Is that on YouTube? That's a YouTube one. Okay, well, let's go ban that YouTuber. Can we do that? <laughs> I'm telling you, they're they're challenging me today. Okay. And that is report and get rid of that. All right, you guys. So, <laughs> just, just gonna, just gonna challenge me all kinds of ways today, <laughs> aren't they? Okay. Um, okay. So I think I got those out of there. All right, you guys, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, 
You tried getting to them, Sandy? Okay. You have to do click the three little dots. Sandy, you're on, on YouTube, right? I think you got to click the three little dots and then click report. Anyhow. <laughs> All right. You guys, let's have some more fun. So let's talk organization. So this is stamps. Now there's also dies. Dies, I use the very same bins that I found at Target. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to share exactly what I have in my bins um, from the, you know, the organizers in here. And so there's a little tweaks from each thing. So let me go here. And look, I remembered to unmute myself. How about that? <laughs> okay, so um, the movie, yeah, okay. So on this one, you can see my, my dies have kind of um, expanded a little bit. Now, I used to have this whole set in the top of my cart before I put my stamps in there. So I had four bins of these different dies. And so dies are very heavy. So these carts can hold a lot, right? And a lot of weight, which is really nice. So you could put dies, you could put stamps, you could put border maker cartridges, you could put punches. I used to have them, I you know, just kind of all different kinds of things. Um, yeah, so I will, sh I will share some of my favorites, um, Cherie. Yes, my favorite stamps and dies. So you can see here, I'm just kind of flipping through. I have travel dies. I have lots of word and numbers. Kind of when I got started, it was more about alphabets because I'm such a alphabet nerd. <laughs> so true. Okay. So here I am. All right, you guys. So I'm going to kind of take you a little bit through my um, thinking. <laughs> and Belinda says, I don't need any lo loser hot photos. I don't either. I'm sorry about that, you guys. We're going to have to figure that all out. All right. So Bonnie's here. Belinda's here. <laughs> okay. Um Yes, and Monica, that's great. If you have a stamp and die set, they can go in the same place. So let me switch over to my overhead and we're going to really talk about different things you can do. And I'm going to um, keep an eye on the chat if you have questions. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about my journey. So when I, like I said, when I started, I had... Um, a whole, and you might have seen this in when I was still in the basement. I love these DVD cases where you can put the stamps in here. Okay. And I thought this was the cat's meow. This is the solution I needed because the plastic just sticks to it. And, you know, that's awesome. And you can, I slipped the, um, uh, what do you call it, like the little index sleeve, the clear index that shows you all the designs in the front of the, the um, DVD case, okay? And so I could kind of tell which one was which because um, I had some of them on the side or if it was sitting in a bin, okay, let me... Uh, this is my die bin, but you can kind of see the same size. So if it was sitting in the bin, right, I could flip through it. Then what I was realizing is, oh my gosh, I am running out of room. I'm running out of room because these are super thick, right? Not only am I running out of room. Okay, so here's my DVD case. This is what I use now. Okay. Not only am I running out of room, but I have to kind of pick it up and look at it every time I want to see what it is. <laughs> you know, like, oh, what is that one? Oh, yeah. Okay. What's in that one? Okay. Yeah. Um, and <clears throat> the main, main thing is I was running out of room. I still use these for my Stampin' Up! And you guys, I know some of you are Stampin' Up! fans. So um, I still have... Hang on a second. I grab it, stampin' it. I still have 
my Stampin' Up! cases because they do the packaging so beautifully. This is on my bottom cart. This is on the bottom, okay? So I just leave it like this, although I could see at some point it might even be better to switch everything over to kind of my new system because to me it's all about being visual and seeing what I have. And that has made a big difference. I'm going to share one other thing that that really changed the way I think about stamps because I was so disappointed. So one of my favorites, I'm going to kind of weave in some of my favorite um, manufacturers. One of them is Carrie Bradford Studio. Carrie makes amazing stamps. This is one of Carrie's uh, sets. And um, I don't know the name of this one. I don't think it's still available. Here's what happened. I had this in a DVD case. And can you guys see what happened? <laughs> Whoops. Hang on. Where is it? Right here. There you go. Do you see? I'm missing the number 23. Yeah. And that's so true, Linda. If you can't see it, you don't use it. So I'm missing the number 23. Why am I missing the number 23? Because when it was in here, <clears throat> there's no index to tell me, am I putting it back? It was just all kind of stuck down, just like these are. And um, and so I started, I started realizing this was not the only set. I was losing stamps, especially the itty bitty ones. And I was like, oh, that is such a bummer. <laughs> don't have the number 23 and I'm not like I said I don't even think this one is still available but I and I'm certainly not going to buy a whole nother set just for that one like I'm just going to ink up the two and the three and call it a day but it's disappointing when you invest in a stamp so after losing and like I said that was not the only one after losing I started uh, some some of my stamps from this system. I started re-looking at other systems and something that caught my eye was um, how Heidi Swap, if you're familiar with Heidi Swap or Studio Calico, um, not Studio Calico, um, yeah Studio Calico, <laughs> Heidi Swap um, or Studio Calico, uh, their stamps come in these sleeves. And I thought, but you guys, that's like such a, there's such a hassle when they come. Um, let me, hold on a second. I, I meant to keep one in there. So when they come, let me just show you one sec real quick. Uh, where's the backing to this? I thought I saved the backing. Okay. Oh. Oh, where's the backing? Where's the backing? Okay, so oh, let's just do let's just do this one. Actually, I saved this. Okay, here. This is how they come, right? They come with the top that has the printing on it, and then they come with the back, which is this plastic. And so what Heidi always suggests is to so they also come with the sleeves. And the, these are four by six stamps. And they say, just keep the backing on it and slide it in the sleeve. Okay, so <laughs> they have their own size four by six sleeve. It's smaller. Um, I don't know if I have one here. Um, okay. And they, let's just pretend this is a smaller one. So, so slide it in there. Then what I was noticing is that when you start stacking them on top of each other, like there's no separation between your stamp sets. And so I was off looking and searching for other things. And then I found there was one system I really liked and that is to use a dry erase. So this is can you guys see the shine on it? This is a dry erase backing and it's also pure white. Okay. 
So what happens here is it's dry erase. So if it happens to have a little ink on it or whatever, and it's, um, it's okay, and it doesn't stick. But I get to keep the top, um, the index, right? So I know, like here's one of those little, those stamps, like the I, that little stamp right there, that could get lost. But now I can see, oh, I haven't put that eye back. So I better grab that eye and stick it back in here so that I know I have that stamp, okay? So this is now, it's a combination of kind of how Heidi uses these clear sleeves, but she just keeps the clear backing on them, okay? So what I've decided to do is to switch it up a little bit and I don't and I'm taking this clear backing off and I'm not saving it and I'm putting it on the dry erase and look at all of a sudden how easy that is to see that white background just boom visual makes it pop doesn't it so now if I'm flipping through my alphabets like this in a bin, look at how easy I can see my alphabets. And I can see just the ones that I want, okay? So, just like that, ta-da, easy. Um, okay, so how do we get here from all these different pieces? And, and hang on, I'm going to come back to the chat in just a second, but I need to kind of finish this one thought. What I was realizing, and we're going to get to, to dies in just a second here, but what I was realizing with stamps is they've, they really do come in different sizes, right? Most stamps you can get like in a 4 by 6 sheet, or they come in a 6 by 9 sheet, or there's some that are just smaller, right? Like this one, and where's this other one I just had? Ah, too many things on my desk. <clears throat> Here it is. Okay, they come like this, little bitty ones. This one is from Studio Calico, okay? What I decided is I'm not, I wanted two sizes of bins to kind of contain my whole stamp collection. So I figured out the six by nine can hold all the bigger sizes. And then instead of going to a four by six, which has a much smaller um, pocket, I can take all the four by sixes and I can take the small guys like this and use a five by seven sleeve, okay? So what happens too is that this is the same sleeve that I use for my dies because the dies fit perfectly <laughs> in here and I do a little something different. So for stamps, I actually cut the top off and I create that thumb notch and for dies, I leave the top on there so that I can label what my die is, as you saw kind of in the video. And then I also use the magnetic sheets um, for my dies to keep them all contained. So, and then I think, um, I don't know, who was it, M Monica or Sheree, or someone said, if they have a, a set that has both, they put the stamps and then the dies could be on the back. Okay, so in fact, I think I have, uh, I have one kind of like that here. That's not it. <laughs> Thought I grabbed it. One second. There we go. This is a little set that I had from a long time ago. So it has, it's a Sizzix one by Lori Whitlock. And so here's the stamps and then there's the dies on the back. Okay, so you can easily do that. All right, um, 
if I know, if I want to kind of keep track of the manufacturer and where I get things, I will take and cut off, like this one came from scrapbook.com, and you know, I'm showing you this because you know I'm a tab lover. Love these tabs from scrapbook.com, by the way. And um, so then I can just leave that in there and show, you know, so I know where I got it. Okay, so instead of, um, so what I've done is instead of having a whole separate size, a whole separate bin for itty bitty little stamps like this, what I have decided to do, let me get the right one, is I double up. And so eventually, like you could say this one is happy birthday celebrate. So eventually these are going to end up, let me see if I have the right size card. Let me go back here. And, and you do have to do a little modification and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So eventually I'm gonna find another tiny stamp that I can double this up with. And that's what I've done here with my months. So these are actually two separate um, collections. These are itty bitty. What are these called? I think two by threes or something. But they're both March, so they both go on the same backing, five by seven, and then it goes in my sleeve, okay? So the little, little stamps still in the same holder, still in the same size. It all fits in these awesome bins from Target. Love the size. There are some similar ones from like this from iDesign, okay? And they work also if you don't have a Target near you. So iDesign also has an alternative that is very similar. Okay, the size is very similar, like you can see. The only difference is that my Target ones are taller. And um, I, I just, I've been using these for a while. These are in the bathroom section of Target, <laughs> bathroom organizers, and they come in clear and white, frosted, like a frosted. Okay, so these are like the fridge bins that you can get on Amazon and different things. All right, so let's go in, jump into how do we get everything to work out so that you can get things organized and see what you have and use what you have. And I have been using this so much more, um, being able to flip and see. And you can see, look at how many, that it takes up so much less room, right, than DVD cases. And once again, I can also see and make sure I'm putting back all of my um, letters. So here is something else I've just started doing. And so you can see I have it on some, but not on others. And that is on the dry erase. Now I'm also adding the name if it's not already printed on the stamp set. Now, um, let me grab one of these uh, here. This one, like this one is from Carrie Bradford and she actually prints Jordan. I don't know what that says. O-W-F-R, -O Jordan. <laughs> oh, lower, Jordan lower. I think the L is a little off. So you can kind of see she prints the name right there on the side. And so I know this is the Jordan alphabet and it's from Carrie Bradford Studio. So if it's already on there, I don't need to relabel it, although it's much easier to see this, of course. Um, and what I noticed from, like, I love some of Heidi Swap's, I started going, oh, if she came out with a new one, do I have that one? Do, do I have that one? And I'd flip through and I'd be like, I want to get it, but I don't know if I have it because some of these start looking very similar, don't they? Like, don't some of these look similar? And so online, you're like, well, it kind of looks like the one I have, but I'm not sure um, if that's the one too. 
So what I did is now, like this is one of her newest alphabets, Mark It Fresh. So now I just uh, create a little label with my label maker, stick it to the top, and it does say designed by Heidi Swap, so I know at least where that came from. This one, I had to go searching. I couldn't remember where I bought this alphabet from. So, um, and it's an awesome al alphabet. And sometimes they'll have like the solid and then they'll have the outline, which is just so cool. So I finally found where this alphabet came from. And this is called the Large Jane outline. And then you can see there was no branding on this at all. And, and that's why I had a hard time finding it, but it's from L Studio. So I just put an ES after the name of the alphabet. So I know, okay, L Studio, that's another place I go to look for um, stamps. So just a few little extra steps are going to help you go, okay, you know, or if you see an ad and you go, oh, I, you know, somebody creating something, you're like, Oh, I want, I want to go get that alphabet. I love that alphabet. But, you know, do you have it? Or do you have something similar? Or where, you know, you? it's just an easy way. I hope you can see that you can start quickly looking to see what you have. So that's, that's my favorite is making sure, you know, using the dry erase, using vinyl pockets, and then my third thing is I'm going to share how I make my dividers. Okay. And this rocked my world. I was so <laughs> excited when I found this um, last little organizer. So excited. And that is these babies right here. These are comic book dividers. Yes. Yeah. Lawn Fawn is another awesome um, company. And where is, where did I put that? Oh yeah. I have that here. Right. So another great product Lawn Fawn um, has is the stamp chamois. And if you haven't if you know creative memories had one for a while and then you know they're all gone now but if you really like a chamois lawn fawn has a beautiful uh, stamp chamois and then it, you can just keep it in one of the little boxes helps it to not dry out so fast another favorite cleaner is this one where you can just um put a little you you and you know this is on the side of my cart you can just put a little cleaner on your stamp and then this can help dry it off. So you always want to clean your stamps before you put them back away. So there's different types of cleaners. And then the other thing you might have seen on my cart is one of the little cups from Michael's. And I keep my favorite blocks in here. And they're not all my blocks, but these are my favorite. And um, I keep them right on the side of my cart so they're ready to go and my daughter just found these little guys we're gonna have a little talk about cart paraphernalia <laughs> and it's like the perfect size for my little date roller stamp I'm gonna tell you about Daiso and um, we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about organizers and what you can put in your cart from Daiso. So anyhow, that's on my cart too. Just a little snapshot from what's coming. I'm, I still have that. Okay, so these are, let me go back. These are comic book dividers. So they come in the size, you know, it's like way too big <laughs> to fit in anything. But the awesome part is you can cut these down to fit whatever you want them to. They are soft enough that they're easy enough to cut. But I'm going to share, I, I have, I have, honestly, I have three, well, I guess four, if you cut, cut, um, count my personal trimmer, I have four trimmers. I have had this trimmer in my craft room forever, forever. 
um, I think since I think I was at the CHA in 2013 or something when I first saw the cutter pillar and I love my CM uh, 12 inch uh, cutter but I would never cut plastic with it okay never so um, this is my favorite heavy duty cutter that I have in my craft room this one it never needs sharpening it has a light <laughs> and it's also small format you, they have a larger format one but this one has the arm that pulls out so you can just cut any size so for my five by seven stamps what you'll see is this is the size that I cut my boards down to okay so for a five by seven stamp, what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna show you just how easy this trimmer cuts through plastic. I use this whenever I need to cut vinyl and thicker cardstock and <clears throat> all kinds of things. The only thing I've ever had to do, my daughter used it to cut some really gooey stuff, and I had to unscrew the blade and clean the blade off and then um, put it back together and it worked perfectly. This is self-sharpening, so every time um, the blade runs against the metal, it sharpens, and you never have to change the blade. Okay, so love this trimmer. Oh, and if I if I love the light, right? So you can see exactly where you're cutting because you can see the shadow from the light. You guys see that? It's really cool. Okay, not that I'm trying to <laughs> get you guys to have to have another. My point is, if you're gonna cut this, use like a, a bigger guillotine, go to an office store or whatever and cut them down. Don't use your Creative Memories 12 inch trimmer. Okay, so for five by seven stamps, I want this at five and three quarters. I even put a little pencil line on my trimmer so I know exactly which one. And you can see it cuts through just like that. It's so, so good. Then the other measurement is eight and a quarter. Okay, so eight and a quarter. I'm gonna bring that, the top of it, the top of this to eight and a quarter. Okay, now I have the perfect size that's going to fit and cover my um, stamp sets, my five by seven stamp sets. And what I love about these is that it gives you a nice big, I'm always about, I want to read the whole thing. Here's the thing, guys. I got a different brand at scrapbook.com. Okay, they sell these. I totally don't like it. Look at the little tiny tab. No, let me do the hard work and find all the good stuff. And it's only one size, two. Like you can get three, what my three favorite sizes out of the comic book <laughs> dividers. Okay, now I have this sharp corner. Well, handy dandy corner rounder, friends. It takes a little bit of a push. It's a two thumb push, but it does beautifully round your corner. And I just leave the ends as they are. So now I have another divider perfect for my five by seven stamps. Now, before I go on and show you the other ones, what I wanna do is share another favorite product and how I get those ready, where to go, for my stamps. I just had it. <laughs> okay, oh, did I throw it over here? where'd they go okay let's just let's just pick one I'm just gonna nope that's not it. okay no <laughs> one second friends I gotta get I, I just had them where did I put those sleeves um because we're gonna need the trimmer for that too okay did I, oh, here they are. Okay, <laughs> they're in my pile of everything to show you. Okay, so dry erase cards. I'm gonna come back to these two. Don't let me forget. 
here are the vinyl pockets. Now, I tried about five, I'm not kidding you, five different vinyl pockets. For me, what was really important is that it was soft and pliable and that it was crystal clear, okay? That makes a difference to actually see your stamps. And Mary Jo, the comic book dividers are linked on my Amazon page. I get mine off of Amazon and they're totally inexpensive. They're really cheap. Like you can get a pack of a hundred of them, I think. <laughs> and the trimmers are also available through Amazon as well. I have that linked as well. Okay, so and are these little vinyl pockets. So I actually, I was a little, here's my, this is how picky I am, you guys. This is a company. This is the company that it makes a difference who you buy from. Um, this was from, I found them on Amazon and they were retail merchandising signs, retail merchandising signs. So these are made in the USA. And I just, I've ordered these about eight times. And because I use them, like I said, for dyes and also now for my five by, for storing stamps. They just, I just ordered another pack. And can you kind of see how this one's a little not, not as clear? Can you guys see the difference? It's a little murky. And so you guys, I called them and I said, um, this is not the same quality and it's stiff. Like, uh, no, I like it super soft and pliable and crystal, crystal clear. Can you guys see the difference? Look at that. See? <laughs> it's like we're at the optometrist. They said they and they and they agreed and they said they noticed it and they've talked to their supplier. It's all manufactured here in the US, but they talked to their supplier and they said no, all of them now are these crystal clear. Here's the thing, if you happen to get one that's not, just call them up. They're the nicest people and let them know that you want the clear ones, okay? That's how OCD I am about my product. So what do I do with their product? They are not the cheapest, okay? They're not the cheapest out there. They are the best if you want to invest in a nicer system. I'll have to say too, originally I used these really super thin sleeves, right? Like these, these are super inexpensive. So if you can't do vinyl, this is another great option. And these are like, uh, I think a lot of the stamp places carry these, but this is what happens. They start to tear over time. And they're just, um, for these I had to, I would slip in a piece of cardstock or something. Okay, but I, I'm so in love with the vinyl and that was due to finding, you know, Heidi Swap, when you order her stamps, she sends you the sleeve M most of the stamps not all she sends you the sleeve so I thought okay how can I do it the the six by nines or now four by seven I mean five by seven okay so if you notice like I said this is these are for job ticket <laughs> like you you know attach them to furniture and put the price tag in here and so what I do is I look where this um seam is do you see that seam at the top right there and i just cut it off okay so again this is where my little light on the trimmer helps and you can see it just boy it just cuts through vinyl like no tomorrow just like that so i cut that off and then now i have this beautiful pocket but i have no thumb notch and you guys know last time i was talking about my little thumb notch punch and i love that you guys told me how on thinner plastic, on thinner plastic, you need to just put a little piece of paper around it and then punch it. It worked like a charm. It was gorgeous on the pockets, like where I keep my embellishments. On this thick vinyl, you don't even need paper. You just punch right through it. And then you've got this awesome thumb notch. Okay, I'm gonna show you with the magnet. Can you see that? And it ha even has, just by cutting that off, it even has, you know, kind of a little um, separation. So easy to get in and out. 
Now, the last little detail I do is these are sharp. Like as I was flipping through, I'm like, ah, those are a little sharp. So I just take my corner rounder again and just like get rid of that little sharp point on the edges. So you do kind of have to have a little stash of tools around. You have to have your corner around. You have to have your thumb notch, your trimmer, you know, and things. But once you've got you've got like your stash, you're ready to go. And I'll just sit and watch Netflix and make a bunch of these at a time. But do you see how that just took just rounded that little corner, that sharp corner off. Okay, let me share on the bigger one. So these come in two sizes and this is the six by nine, okay? But this, it, this is actually a little bigger than the six by nine. And <clears throat> like I said, quality matters. So I tried finding a actual six by nine, the size of the ones that Heidi Swap uses and Studio Calico. And I bought some and they're terrible. They're like that hard plastic, not clear, the whole thing. So I went back to my favorite company and I said, what do they have? Because they didn't have an exact match. So this is the one that I use, okay? And you can see it's a, about a quarter of an inch bigger than the six by nine. And then I said, well, will it fit in my bin? <laughs> Does it fit? Will it blend, right? <laughs> Does it fit? So here's the bin that I have on the top of my cart. It's the iDesign cabinet bin, eight by 10 by five. These are where you can get three of them side by side. They fit perfectly in the top of your cart. You have an, it, it about an inch left over. <clears throat> and I said, well, will these fit? Yeah, they'll fit. Are they crystal clear and are they soft and buttery? Yes. So I decided to mix my pockets just by that little much. And guess what? You really can't tell. So if I brought out my bin with all my large stamps in it, <clears throat> some of these you can see might have, let me see if I can find, well, here's my Heidi Swaps, right? Are a little smaller. And by the time you put stamps in it, no, that's not, that must not be a bigger one here. This one kind of feels like a bigger one. By the time you put your stamps in it, it's, it's so almost hardly noticeable. Um, here we go. That's a good one. There we go. See that? You can hardly see the difference. Now, here's let this is a good one I pulled out. This is a close to my heart stamp set. They like a, a square format, right? So they're stamping up close to my heart, Heidi Swap, Studio Calico, L Studio, Alt New, Pink Fresh Studio. I mean, there's so many awesome Carrie Bradford Studio, so many awesome places that make stamps. So even close to my heart stamps will fit in the larger sleeves, okay? But you can see I've also done the thumb notch and cut off the top of this one. And this one was so big, it even has, um, I put both sides in here, okay? So uh, the only thing I had to do on the close to my heart is trim just an itty bitty bit off of the, um, plastic, right? So I just stuck it on my card and then trimmed that off so that it would slide right in the sleeve. Okay. So ease, ease of use is super important. And then also, um, keeping track that I'm putting the stamps back where they belong. That was really important. And being able to kind of flip through like you can see oh it's just so fun so so fun <laughs> to flip through and go look at that and then the other thing as you're flipping is you'll notice um if i have upper and lower of the same alphabet i want them right next to each other right same with heidi's alphabet or here this one is from 
L Studio, if I have the solid and the outline, I want those next to each other when they go in my bin so that I can go, okay, do I want to do kind of a double layer on my alphas? I know I'm all about alphas. There's totally other things too. Okay, so that's how I have my bigger storage. And so you'll notice, yes, I do have to redo the same categories for my large stamps and for my five by seven stamps, right? So I have an alphas for my smaller, my five by sevens, and I have an alphas for my six by nine. And so that you just kind of have to know, <laughs> right? That you can look both places. Like, do you need a larger alphabet or do you need a smaller alphabet? Okay, so for six by eight stamps, this is the size that you need to cut the comic book sleeve down, okay, to get a beautiful um, title on these, right? So if you want to have, and, and you know, that's the thing. You can cut this so that it works perfectly for whatever system you have if you like this comic book um, insert. And I love the white. They have colors. I don't recommend the colors. I love the white. <laughs> I'm just saying. I sent the colors back. Okay. <laughs> so then on the larger vinyl pockets, I just wanted to make sure you guys knew they're a little bit bigger, but they still work in the bin and they still work for, um, for the stamps. So all you have to do on this one is cut it down. Where's that one? I, I actually, I think I kept the, the height. I forgot to write this down. I cut the height the same as the ones that I get. I think it's here. That's what I have marked, right? Yeah. So this is eight and three quarter inches. Let me just check that. Yeah, eight and three quarter inches. Eight and three quarter inches. So I'm gonna just measure it here and then I'm gonna slice off the top. Okay, and then same thing, take my thumb notch, pop it in there, get that beautiful thumb notch. And this also has sharp corners. So once again, just grab my corner rounder and just take that little sharpness off, right? So let me get the black so you can see that again. Okay, sharp corner, just gonna take a little bit off so that now I'm not scratching myself. And now I have another sleeve ready for a large six by eight. Okay, I'm getting ready to come to questions. <laughs> okay, so before I do that though, just one more reminder um, that, so here's for six by eight stamps. This is, this is the dimension, okay? beautiful for those pockets we just made and then the last one is for die storage and if you recall I do not cut the top off of my die storage so I needed this it's the same width five and three quarter okay but I needed this a little taller so the original one I showed you for stamps was eight and a quarter inches tall, but for the dies, I went up to eight and three quarters so that it would cover that little extra piece, which is where I put the label of what the die is, okay? Now, that's not to say maybe you want everything the same. Maybe you wanna mix your stamps and dies. You could always cut this off and put that, that sticker down here, your choice however you want to do that. But for these um, dies, die pockets, I just usually keep the top on them. And then these are the magnet sheets. I am so lazy. I just bring, uh, buy these five by, five by seven size already, already ready to go cut. And on the magnets, 
You don't have to get the super heavy duty one I found. I think most of the time the thinner magnet sheets work just fine, especially when you're putting them in a pocket. Okay, one last little cut and then we're gonna just do Q&A so we can get all your questions answered. What about the dry erase board for your six by eight stamps, Lauren? So they did not have the dry erase <laughs> in six by eight. They have the five by eight, which is perfect. All you have to do is cut one inch off the bottom on these guys and they're they're ready to go. So you just take this, take it down to a seven out oh, and this tremor works perfect on dry erase boards too. Take this down and then this is ready to go in your little um, five by seven pocket, okay? Perfect. Now, if you want to make one for a six by eight, what I had to do was go up to an eight and a half by 11. So these dry erase come in eight and a half by 11. And so for this one, I had to cut it, but this is what's cool. If you cut it in a certain way, you actually get a large one and a small one. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this over to six, okay, and cut it off. Now I have my six by eight and a half, okay, for my larger sleeves. Not perfect. Now I have this little guy, and all I wanna do, this is already a five inches wide. Isn't that perfect? So now I wanna make this seven. I think it was seven, right? Yeah, seven. Seven here. So the only extra out of a, an eight and a half by 11 is this little piece right here. Okay, and um, these, I also thought a reuse for these, you could punch a hole in this and do flashcards because it's dry erase. You can use a dry erase marker on this. So you could even make your own little flashcard dry erase deck out of those. So now you have a six by nine and a five by seven, but once again, a sharp point. And so corner rounder to the rescue and oh, that one didn't punch all the way through very well. Just, I, I don't put it all the way in, just that little edge off so that it kind of matches. Or you could do bigger rounds, whatever you like. Just the top and then the same here. Here, got a sharp, sharp point. And so just take the top off and you're ready to go. That is the DIY marathon. So like I said, it's kind of, you kind of have to have your little stash ready and you just sit here and kind of do your own thing. And, but those are my favorites. And I think if you looked at over time, um, it will save you, you know, from different, you know, by buying these in bulk, it'll save you and doing a little of this work yourself because you could buy these from Heidi Swap Shop or from Studio Calico. These, they're a dollar a piece, these six by eight sleeves. But when you buy them in bulk, they're a little less expensive. Okay, Woo! lot to talk about there, didn't we have? All right, you guys. So I am going to switch back over here and answer your questions. <laughs> okay, all right, so let's let's check in for a second here i'm gonna bring you a little closer so i can read better <laughs> all right let's um so tina the sleeves are from i'm gonna go backwards a little bit um can you show the bin one more time karen yes which so the bin i design this is the big bin cabinet bin it's an um eight by 10 by five, I design. And, and there's I design and M design. So this is the I design. Three of these fit perfectly on the top of the Hudson cart. Four of my smaller bins from Target, okay, four of these fit either on the top or the middle or one of the rows. 
And this is also, that's also what I use for my die storage. And um, if you don't have a Target, there's a similar fridge bin. It's a little different setup, but you could use these um, for your smaller, your five by seven storage. Okay. Hmm. Good question. Does the plastic dull my corner rounder over time? I haven't found yet that it has, Julie, but it's possible. And so my, my I was going to actually try to find my old corner rounder. <laughs> um, and then if I, you know, if it does, it, it just have one just for plastic. That's what I was thinking. Just to keep one, like an, if I have, find my old one, just keep that for plastic and keep this for paper. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't have a PDF with all of that, um, but we can see about, <laughs> we can see about that. Um, okay, and, and look, all the questions are coming in and I, they're, I have to go backwards too. Let me find the measurement on this smaller bin for you. So this one is, Let me just see. Six inches. It looks like just shy of six inches. And you need at least that, you know, to sl slip the pockets in. And then this one is 10 inches. Six by 10 by five. Six by 10 by five. Let me put that down for you. By five. And I, I wish I knew which, I've had this one for a while. I don't see any branding on it. So it's either probably a I design or M design. It's a fridge bin, right? Six by 10 by five. Yeah, use the older corner around here. Yeah, exactly. Um, tested all your links for inks for Oh, e ink safe for CM. Okay. Yeah, that was probably a question I missed. Okay, so let me go. Um, <laughs> thank you, Monica, for your help. Actually, you know what? I was um, I was just looking at some info that YouTube sent me, and they did say, like, the more you have interaction and the more you have people who like something, the more they are going to show your videos to other people. So thank you. You're always sweet to do that, Monica. Thank you. Okay, so um, I don't, and Sabine, I don't know about Canada. Um, I, I have no idea about Canada, but what hopefully happens is that it'll give you a similar product. And so that's one reason I kind of wanted to give you um, sizes, right? So this is a five by eight giant dry erase. This is an eight and a half by 11. It's the same company. And then those vinyl pouches, you know, if you're in Canada, you may just have to order a few, but like you can see how beautiful and clear that is and soft. So I hope that helps. Okay. Um, all right. Let me go backwards and show the bin. What inks are safe for our CM photo albums? So what I've, um, I'm not going to be an expert on that. Okay, Sheree. But I think um, I use a lot of the Ranger inks. And I want to say those are archival. And I know that um, I have some um, close to my heart inks. I'm pretty sure those are safe, but here's the thing, like you probably, you do want to make sure, I think someone said, you know, don't let it bleed through, you know, test it first. But whenever I'm doing some stamps, it's usually like on a title. So I have a card and then I stamp the title um, or something like that. And it's not directly on my photograph. So um, remember creative memories pages are buffered. So is the paper. And so that's going to help any kind of migration issues okay um yes and linda i absolutely do i'm a alphabet nerd on <laughs> with stamps and you know a lot of people say that oh gosh the stickers the alpha stickers i'm always running out of ease especially i have 
my kids all have vowel names, right? Ellen, Adam, Audrey, and Eric. We have a lot of A's and E's. And so I do love the stamping. And, you know, it takes practice. Like you have to, that is something, but that's why the, a large portion of what I have on my stamp stash are alphabets. And the same with my die stash. So I'll either do dies or um, stamps. And then of course we have our electronic cutters, which if you're a whiz at that, that's also another thing. But every medium gives a different effect. And so I sometimes just really enjoy stamping. I, I enjoy the process. I enjoy looking at the different types of ink and how they react and so forth. Okay, so hope that. Um, and the sleeves, we talked about that. Where do you get that trimmer? Okay, so the trimmer is called Cutter Pillar. Not Caterpillar, but Cutter Pillar. <laughs> That's so funny. Cutter Pillar. Yep. Um, and Cindy says she loves that trimmer too. Also has the large size. Yeah. And Cynthia too. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. And Diane said Daiso. Okay. So I have something fun for you guys. All right, you guys. Um, um, okay. So Kelly must have had some, I have a stamp reference binder with name, image, stamped or copied from package. Okay. I know there's another company that does the, this, this. Okay. And I can't remember, um, stamps and storage solutions or something like that. Every time, every time I go, went to their website, they were sold out. They were sold out. And so I had to figure out how to make my own and what I love about doing my own is I can make it whatever size works for me in the different size categories. So, um, yeah, I know there's other alternatives if you want to just click and purchase too. Okay. And, um, yeah, Julie, let's talk woodblock stamps. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a whole thing where you can actually take the rubber off of the block and store them as well. And I haven't gotten into all of that. Right now, my wood blocks are still in the acrylic frames, just like they were in my big craft room tour from a couple years ago. So um, it would definitely, and, and here's the thing, they're not even in this room because they do take up a lot of room. So I haven't had a chance to do that project, but I would love to know if, you know, if you guys, would like to see that or if you've tried it whatever you know getting the wood blocks into a smaller format right that's a really good question they do take up a lot of room so right now they're still in my acrylic um picture frames you guys i don't have one here they're still in the basement okay um okay so Let's see if there's anything else. All the size, yeah, all the sizes and packaging adds to the struggle. It's so, um, so interesting. Okay, so love that dry erase board. Um, do you put the combo in a bag? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, maybe the stamp and die combo. Yes, we went over that. Some of these are from a while back. Okay. Um, Yes, the dry erase never heard. Yes, it makes a huge difference. And I love it because the stamps peel right off, but you get that um, uh, white background that is just so easy, so easy to see your stamps. So um, being able to just kind of easily do that. Before, what I did is I would always keep the plastic and then this would just be um, like a white cardstock. But this also gives some structure to uh, your stamps as well. So I love it. I love the, the dry erase trick. And it took me a while to find those too. <laughs> okay. Um, in the top bins, they are also sold at the container store Okay, thank you, Annette. The the um, these guys the in design. I know Container Store has tons and tons of bins too. And then there's these 
Okay, six by 10 by five. All right, um, so <laughs> I have a huge amount of dies, I know, Mary. I, and most of them are alphabets. Okay, so I think I got most of the questions. If there's a burning question left, please let me know um, now and you're still here. So a collection has cardstock. Do I keep the cardstock? Oh, okay, this is from last time. Maria was asking about cardstock. I don't. I take my cardstock out and keep it in my color file, okay? Um, because most of the time, I just need a, a, a sheet. And so, yeah, I, I don't keep cardstock with my collections. It takes up too much room down here. And then I find um, I just, I like having it in my rainbow. Okay, um, so yes. Also, I, um, okay. Let me just come back. Oh, here's, okay. Let me go back down to the end of your comments, see if anybody else. I have a challenge for you guys. <laughs> I have a challenge for you. Um, how to get to my Amazon store. <clears throat> yep. I'll put my I'll put my links back up here. So my Amazon store is right here. You, you go to Amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash craft some joy. Or you can go to my website and click on shop my favorite things. So I have the two places and um, <laughs> no, I, I told them I, you know, and these guys, they were so nice to me on the phone. I'm like, I can't recommend a fuzzy non clear. Like it has to be this quality for me to recommend it. And they're like, no, we'll, you know, take it. I go, I know a lot of people are going to click on this. So they were super, super helpful. Um, just, yeah, I love this company. Like I said, I've ordered a ton. All right, let's talk for a second. Let's talk. Daiso! All right, you guys. Um, and then I have a challenge. I have a challenge for you too. I'll, okay. <clears throat> Linda says she'd love a video. On, I know, we gotta, we gotta organize those. All right, so Daiso is, I, I kind of call Daiso the um, Japanese dollar store. They just have, all kinds of stuff and my daughter um my daughter went was there and and some are big <laughs> big and some are are small um and so you got to go to like a bigger daiso and one of the things i found there remember how i like i have some of these for from target you can find some of these from target in the bath section i have never seen this one at target and if you remember, I'm going to see if I can show you my cart really quick again. Okay. I know it's kind of bumpy, you guys. So we're going to have, we're going to have so much fun talking about carts. And, um, okay, sorry. I know that's kind of crazy. So here's all of my five by seven pockets from Creative Memories. Next to it, I only had this tiny little bit of space, right? And I mentioned really quickly that I use these. Whoops. Sorry. Oh, here, let me hold this better. There we go. I mentioned these go right next to the, the 5 by 7 Like, they're the perfect size. And then when my daughter was there, she found this one, which you can put two of these little skinny ones and one of the little cup. Okay, so now that you've seen where that is in on my cart, let me show you those products again. So if you have a Daiso, go find, see if you have one. So see how skinny that is? And this is the tall cup. So I put these like that. <laughs> next to my five by sevens on the cart. And these are perfect for, like you saw, the um, the tapes, like your foam tape, your photo tape, whatever tapes. And then um, this one, you know, whatever you have left over, you can stick in there. So Daiso, we're gonna do, this is what I'm, I'm gonna have fun. I wish, it's D-A-I-S-O, D-A-I-S-O. I don't know if they have a, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> um, 
It's a brick and mortar store. And that, I don't know, can someone, I don't know if they have an online place. I know like Dollar Tree has, maybe. Um, here in Southern California, we have them all over the place. So let me, let me just tell you that, <coughs> cause this is gonna be fun. They also had these little, that's where I got these little magnet. So Annette was at the pop crop and we were like, oh, what about magnets? Like we can put magnet stuff on our cart. So I literally, my daughter was at Daiso and I literally was like, oh wait, go over there. What's in that section? So they had these sticking can gates there. <laughs> I love it, right? So, oh, sorry. So these have a magnet on the back so you could actually stick these to your cart. These have a magnet on the back so you could stick these to your cart. And then I started thinking like, Oh, what about all the other things that you could stick to your cart with magnets as long as they're not too heavy and they'd follow up. Sandy says she sees an online Daiso Japan. Excellent. Okay, so you could go look for these little guys. Let's give you some measurements. They're skinny, right? They're super skinny. Two inches. Two inches by six. Two by six by three about approximately the writing is so small it's in centimeters so <laughs> it's just two by six by three okay tiny um here's what i and they're they're stackable too like you they just you know i love plastic storage <laughs> what can i say okay here's the thing oh here's the little here's the little section here i i saved the packaging on one of them this is what the little cube storage looks like that has the magnet on the back. Okay, what I think would be so much fun after Annette was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, what about magnets? What about this? What if we stuck this in here? Put this, that there. And you know, the other thing she, she liked was putting the um, command hooks on little, you know, right? So you can hang things <laughs> on, on the cups on your cart. All right, you guys want to have, I want to have some fun with you. I want to see who has the most pimped out cart. So if you go to my pop Facebook group, okay, now I can't even see you guys. <laughs> Here you go. Mary, if you're watching, watch out. We're going <laughs> to, I think we're going to get a lot of activity. Mary Smith helps me. Um, with my pop group. If you are not a member of the Progress on Projects Facebook group, then you'll have to ask to join. And isn't organization part of how we make progress, right? It is. It's, it's how getting organized helps us make progress on our projects. My pop Facebook group, I, ca I lovingly call you my pop stars. Let's have some fun. I want to see I want to see your carts. Okay, this is going to be so fun. Show off your cart and I'm going to give stuff away. So um, I'm going to give away two $50 credits. And um, if you're in the US, I can just give you credits for the CM website. If you're in Canada or Australia and you win, um, I'm going to have to like Venmo you or something. I don't know. We'll work it out if you're across, if you're out of, out of country. And um, show off your post, your cart, show your cart by November 1st, 2022. I'm only going to give you a little bit of time. You guys, you got to go, go deck out your cart. It can be your stamp cart. <laughs> it can be your scrapping cart. But show me what you have found to put on your cart that are just some fun little additions. Show me how you're using them because here's the thing. It's not going to just benefit me. It's going to benefit everybody because we all scrap a little differently. So if you can help other people by saying, oh, this is what I do in my cart. This is what I love in my cart. That's going to help other people, right? And so we all come together, give some good ideas, and I'm just going to make it fun by giving away stuff. How about that? So if you post, if you put a post, I'm going to gather everybody's name. And again, this is for the bigger community because 
I have everybody in my pop group, not just my customers. I have everybody from all over the world in my pop group because we are all trying to make progress on our projects. And um, absolutely, Annette, repost your cart. Or, I mean, if, if you've, you've revamped it again. <laughs> I love it. Annette's like, I gotta redo it again. I love it so much. Okay. <laughs> Anybody, you guys get one entry though, okay? And so anybody who's posted a picture of the cart, Annette, you started this. You started this, girl, all right? <laughs> and Cindy's like, oh no, all the accessories on my, if, if you don't have the accessories, just show what your main, your main cart is, okay? Do this, let's have some fun in the Pop Facebook group. Won't this be fun, Mary? I know, get ready. I think it's gonna be fun to see everybody's carts. Mary even said she went and got a cart too. <laughs> okay, so um, yes, Lisa, you're here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, we're just wrapping up though. <laughs> All right, Monica loves it. We're gonna do that. Let's do that in the Progress on Projects Facebook group. Show off your cart, show how you're organizing. And like I said, whatever cart you're using, because I've had so many people say, I love the whole cart thing and, you know, I'm going to dust mine off. My little scrapbooking cart was my daughter's. She had all her clay stuff in there and she wasn't using it anymore. So I just got my, you know, Clorox wipes and cleaned it out and repurposed it. And I love it. So um, let's have some fun. Yudi says she's ready. She got two carts. <laughs> she got two carts. So the bigger cart is that I showed you today with all my stamps on it is the Hudson. It's the long one. And then the smaller one, uh, do you guys know? I'm not sure. That's the one like they sell at Ikea, they sell on Amazon, they sell at Michael's, the smaller cart. Okay, I, I don't remember, but it has the two, um, two posts. So I can just show you. It, so it's, it's a, a little smaller. I, I know it's kind of crazy to keep looking. So it's a little smaller. You can see there, right? And then I have the two bins. I shared this in my very first Tidy Up Tuesday. So if you want to see that, you can go rewatch how I have this one set up. Okay. So I have, and like one of my latest additions too was. I, I could never figure out <laughs> where I wanted my trash can. So I don't know if you can kind of see right here. I decided I took a binder clip and I clipped on a trash can right there. So I was always like putting it in different places. All right. So let's let's go have some fun with our carts. <laughs> Rascog is the one from Ikea. Yes. Thank you, Monica. And Belinda says hers is from Container Store. Yeah. Dust off your cart, Carrie, and let's have some fun sharing in the Pop Facebook group. Yes, binder clips. That's another way you can deck out your cart, right? S-hooks, binder clips, uh, magnet cases. Show me your creativity. Let's have some fun. I hope, um, I hope you enjoyed my little DIY <laughs> avenue down. Uh, the stamp and die category, but I think the biggest takeaway for me was um, the thinner, the better, right? The thinner, kind of the same thing we talked about with paper, tame the bulge, right? So the thinner, the better on our stamps. And then, you know, make sure you try to label it somewhere where you get your, your stuff from. And, um, and then, to kind of have a system that you can use uh, to store and organize that works for more than just one or two types of collections. You know, that's what I loved about this. I can put Stampin' Up! stamps. Like here's, here is that. This was one of my Stampin' Up! stamp sets. I always forgot about it. I always forgot about it because it was in a DVD case. And so I said, nope, I'm going to take, it came in three little sections. I took all of that and put it on my dry erase card. And then I put, you know, where it was from on the back. 
and now I'm actually using it. So close to my heart, Stampin' Up, Heidi Swap, L Studio, Studio Calico. Studio Calico just blows your mind. Um, what's the other one? Um, tell me. But I mean, put it, post it in, post it in the chat. What are some other, some of your other favorite places? Um, that you can find your favorite stamps. Okay. CM Punch, BMC, yes. Overrun with them. <laughs> All right. Maybe we'll do that next time, Mary Beth. Let's go into punches. I've got some ideas for you. Punches and border maker cartridges, because I've tried a lot of different solutions for that too. And, um, I have some favorites, but I also have some backup favorites, and it also depends on your space. So I let's let's do that next week. Let's talk about punches and border maker cartridges and and all that good stuff. Okay, all right, hero arts. Yes, I love it. Keep going. Throw those throw those comments up. What was another? Um, I yeah. There's a there's a bunch of them. Carrie Bradford Studio, KBS, love her stuff. Very graphic, love her alphabets. All right, friends, I think we're good for today. We've had a lot of fun talking about DIY, die-in stamp storage, all the different ways. Simon says stamps, yeah, okay, awesome. Thank you guys for popping on and joining me. Don't forget, let's talk hearts in the POP Facebook group. This is gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun. And uh, until next time, I hope you take time to craft your joy and do a little tidying up. And we'll see you next Tuesday for another edition of Tidy Up Tuesday. See you then. Bye for now. Have a wonderful day.